shall we move on to best supporting actress? Uh, I'll start, if I may, with the with the odds makers um, and their take on oh, it. Oh, okay. Let me. I uh, or actually no, I, you know up. what? I, I can uh, I can go back to just my thoughts on these five people. Um, Angela Bassett, if she really is the favorite. That is strictly, hey, you know what? Uh, that's right. Angela Bassett is an amazing actor, and we should give her an award, <laughs> you know. Um, but that role in that movie, don't get me wrong, Jim and I did enjoy the movie. We thought it kicked a fair bit of AWS, but I, I'm not, would this be amongst Bassett's best? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not that it was bad, but it was like, yeah, no, I, I, I going back to what you were. Yeah, there's there's better performances on this list, including two from the same movie, <laughs> more interesting performances, bigger swings, gutsier calls, you know, and Carrie Condon's. <laughs> <laughs> she has she has a couple of great moments in the Banshees of Inisherin, but I cannot I the, the moment where she is calling down oh I can't remember the character's name but it's uh played by uh, Brendan Gleeson and going on about oh another silent man you're all so boring <laughs> I I just I think I'll remember that for the rest of my watch movie watching life. You know, um, so that's yeah, I, I Angela Bassett. I'd say this is not. If she gets it, it'll be because of that. It's I. Carrie Condon, is it my favorite? I don't know. I wouldn't. Any of the other four, I'd be totally fine with. Uh, but the one it would bug me, and the one apparently with the best odds would be Angela Bassett. They'd be like, yeah, what? Really? Really? <laughs> it's one of those weird things, too, where, I, you know, I think everyone, obviously, for good reason, got caught up in Chadwick Boseman's death and uh, and the ripple effects and of that. Rightly with, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. With Black Panther, Wakanda Forever being the sequel that he wasn't yeah. alive to, to be able to, to be in. And then, the you know, the, obviously, we have the, the Marvel Studios logo at the beginning in a very somber, you know, very well thought out uh, tribute to mm -hmm. him at the beginning of the film. So to see her essentially get nominated for the scene that was in the trailer, which was, have I not given everything and, and pronouncing all three syllables in every. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a moving performance, but I actually thought she kind of overacted in the scene in, oh. in some ways. Because like everyone else in that in reacting to his death, like I thought Shiri's reaction was perfect. I actually thought she overacted slightly in that scene. Um, of of the other four performances, though, uh, thoughts on uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Stephanie Sue uh, competing against each other from the same film in the same category? Pretty much guarantees neither will win. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a. It is though. It's it's one of those things where it's like, and yeah, if I was a, if it was anywhere near an Oscar nomination, I'd be like, I that would be the first thing out of my mouth. But I got to admit, if I was up for the same award with one of my fellow cast mates, I'd be like, that's a bummer. I think that's a bit of it's it's in a weird way, maybe a little unfortunate. At the same time, you know, J it's, uh, Ms. Sue or uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, they're at different parts in their career. They both get to, oh, I was Oscar nominated in that role. Like, I mean, that's pretty cool too. I just, yeah, as far as the who's going to win, I think that it splits, it splits the vote. Who do you think should win the award and who do you think will win Best Supporting Actress. You know what? I actually thought Hong Chao would win. Um, really? Yeah, I did. I, I read a couple of pieces. I'm like, wow, that uh, sounds like she's got some momentum. But, you know, looking at those Vegas odds, and I think 
odds makers, the ones who actually do the math, you know, deserve all of our respect. You know, they look at it a lot more clinically than we do. A lot of predictions are based on, well, pulling an opinion out of your, you know what. Hey, I read a thing that convinced me of something, as I just demonstrated. <laughs> um, I, so if Angela Bassett, but I'm, I'm going the reverse on this one, uh, uh, DMG. I'm, I'd be fine with any of them. Um, the most noteworthy performance to me was Carrie Condon, but it was also the most recent one. Like we covered, uh, we covered everything everywhere all at once months ago, whereas we just, Jim and I just looked at the Banshees of Inishirin. So it's sticking in my mind a bit more. Um, but yeah, Angela Bassett, that would bug me. I don't think it was the best performance of the movie. And I also think, well, it was a good movie and impressive, like you said, given what happened in the real world, uh, IRL in real life. I don't think Black Panther, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be remembered forever, whereas Everything Everywhere All at Once, that's a... That's that's a film that's going to stick in people's minds. I think the I, I know you don't feel the same way, but I think the Banshees of Inishirin is a is one that'll be talked about for years. The whale. Well, that's just that's a whale of Oscar. That's a whale of Oscar bait. Um, so many, there's a fish analogy in there. I'm not bringing it home. Yeah. I, I gotta admit, I, it's not so much that I want something. I just bug me if Angela Bassett won. You know, nothing against Ms. Bassett, like, but still, like, really? <laughs> anyway, yeah, there and, you go. And I, does that I give you her, what love... you're looking for? I'm not sure if I really answered that question. Yeah, no, no, no absolutely. I, and I, I love her work as well. I mean, I think how Stella got her group back kind of was her right, her big, big one that uh, that got all the attention and rightfully so. This one, it, it's, I think it's more of a Chadwick Boseman tip of the cap than it is more about how how great a performance she is that being said i think that she will win the best actor or best supporting actress i i think that honestly the one that sticks out most in my mind with it, the, in this category is jamie lee curtis because that role there's just something very specific about the irs agent that she plays that could it, it falls into those dmv kind of roles that 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 uh that it's a job that is completely thankless and most people go in and just sort of, you know, punch a clock, but she's just such the true believer, such the hard worker and wants to get everything right. And she just sort of nails that performance, uh, that part of the performance. Uh, and it's just, it really is memorable to me uh, in that role. So I would say my, my choice would be Jamie Lee Curtis. And I think that Angela Bassett will win in, in that category. I'm with you on the Angela Bassett thing. And like I said, I mean, then all you, you make an interesting note about Curtis's choice here, though. You know, actors love being the star. Um, but I think we get more interesting promote performances when they play supporting roles.